The Mars Rover is an iMac. Volvo is going all electric and smartphones now have 18 gigabytes of RAM. We're gonna get into the hot news today, my friends. I am your host, Brad, where I bring you the hottest tech news that I can find across the internet. And we're gonna start off first talking about the Mars Rover Perseverance, which recently landed on the surface of the Martian surface, which it's as opposed to the Martian ocean, whatever. I record these things on the fly. My words don't come out correct all the time, okay? Anyways, it's now known that Perseverance has a processor that is the exact same as an iMac from 1998 because it is running the good old reliable PowerPC 750 CPU or an offshoot of that. A 23 year old processor that is just so, so much smaller than the 16 billion transistors you can find in the M1 Max. This only has 6 million transistors and a clock speed of get this 233 megahertz but obviously speed not necessarily the most important thing as reliability so that's obviously one of the reasons why nasa chose to go with power pc over let's say intel and also so intel didn't have exclusive rights for the theme song for the entire martian planet where you just listen out on the winds passing over the martian surface and then you just hear intel's inside the martian planet that was a weird thing also, let's talk about weird things coming out of Uber. They're spinning off a robot startup. Yes, Uber, the company you know that drives you around places, that's not their end game. Their end game is autonomous driving where they get rid of all of their drivers together. And part of that is just robot stuff. So they're spinning off a delivery robot startup known as Serve Robotics. This is part of something they acquired when they bought Postmates earlier last year. And they're now splitting it off because it's an autonomous sideways delivery robot where they're just basically gonna autonomize everything. This is the end game for all all of these ride sharing platforms. They do not care about you. If you drive for them, they want to get rid of you because you're overhead. And while Serve Robotics might be serving up some food to you sometime soon, Roku's gonna be serving up some spicy targeted ads to you because they've purchased it Nielsen's tech, which will allow them to directly inject ads into whatever you're watching on their platform. So Nielsen's advanced video advertising unit will allow them to use dynamic ad insertion that could get them to, instead of showing you a local commercial advertisement, they could get one that specifically to you and the brand of toilet wipes that you use. I see you, Jimmy. You wipe in with them, uh, those aloe vera ones. That's expensive, Jimmy. You need to stop it. Yes, mama. But the advertisements are so good. I can see why you do it, Jimmy. Thanks, mama. I do like their ads. It's a weird future if we don't somehow curb all of the emissions that we're pulling out, which Volvo is planning to do something about because they're saying that they're going to go all electric by 2030 and have half electric by 2025, as well as go completely online when it comes to purchasing the vehicle. So basically, they're just deciding that Tesla is doing everything the right way and they're just gonna completely copy them. So they showed off several different things. They first EV that they built from the ground up, the XC40 recharge, as well as showing off the C40 recharge, which actually looks pretty dang good right here. One of the things that you should know about Volvo and their electric vehicle division is that they already have one known as Polestar and they've kind of done that as like a side brand. But now that the whole thing's going all electric, is Polestar gonna be like their luxury kind of electric vehicle brand or are they going to fuse the two together at some point answers aren't quite clear which is essentially what we get from tesla all the time elon musk being clear in his answer but unclear as to whether or not he's going to keep his commitment tesla is planning on launching its full self-driving subscription by the end of q2 said elon musk over on twitter and stating that it should be a worse deal than buying it outright so buying it will be a better long-term deal than subscribing which means the price has to be quite steep for monthly subscription considering the fact that the full self-driving package, although it doesn't actually include full self-driving at this point, and you don't even get access to the whole beta if you pay for it, is $10,000. It would have to be in the tune of two to $300 a month to actually make it so that people are incentivized to purchase the 10 grand rather than pay $200 over the course of the entire time they own the vehicle. If you pay $100 a month, the average person keeps it for 72 months, that's $7,200. It's not a better deal than just getting it for that 10 grand. So we'll have to see how this plays out and whether or not they can deliver in that Q2 time frame but dji delivered their cinematic fpv drone it is now officially launched the fpv goggles v2 coming with it for 1300 dollars. it's super flying around it can do all the swoopty swoops that 
flying drones do you can see it right there it's fpv first person view is the general idea it can go up to 87 miles per hour as well as record in 4k 60 frames per second they're saying it's a good deal you should maybe pick one up the reviews seem to be pretty okay about it it's not necessarily as fast as some other fpv drones but it does have slightly better recording capabilities than you typically see dji coming in at a 1300 price tag on that and asus not yet known on the price tag that they're going to put on the rog phone 5 but we do have benchmarks that now show that it has 18 gigabytes of ram which is just absolutely absurd it's just it's large it's going to have the snapdragon 888 but you can see here that 16.97 that's after all of the things that get taken away from the operating system that's a lot of ram and that's a lot of the end of this episode of Hot News. Why don't you click this video right here to watch the first episode we released today. You can check this playlist out right over here, which contains all the videos you may have missed this week. Or you can click this button right down here to get subscribed. But most importantly, click the button in your heart that lets you know that you're a champion. You're a winner. I believe in you. And I'm going to end this now. Cheers.